do in this event? In this event, this action, this scene, we are trying to bring about the topic, skin tones, from the under the surface to the surface. We make it evident, right, to a, an audience, a found audience. And then by making it evident, we try to involve the audience into it, to react to what they see. And then we disperse. So, if uh, skin tones is a part of your lives, but it's never talked so much about, we don't, we don't talk about it. It's an opportunity to get people to talk about it. Right? And as to happen in a public place, as to be a scene, can be just two people, can be three, that means, uh, and then as to have a beginning, a middle, and an end, so has to be real. Uh, but at the same time, you have to have the ability to improvise, to be on your feet, right? And to know when to detach. So in this, we have to choose, we have to make some choices. First, where are we going to do this? And second, what we are going to do. It can be different scenes. They can happen simultaneously in the same place. Uh, and then once you do it, it can be as long as two, three minutes, four minutes, one minute. And then you do it and you go to another place. Yeah. Um, and then just... It's important that the, our um, acquired actors that are part of the community don't know that they are part of a, a theater event. That's, you know, we never say this. Otherwise, no, do it's not going to be visible anymore. Invisible anymore. It becomes visible. It becomes a performance, and then you will have to act. And it becomes a piece. Okay? It just occurred to me that if, if we're provoking a dialogue with our audience, and this is a question that I'm formulating, um, what happens if we get a response that we don't like or that upsets us, you know what I mean? If we're, if we're encouraging somebody to take an opinion, what happens if that opinion is offensive to us? We have to stay like reporters. So we have to, yeah, if we, if we brought it out with them, then I think we have to, to go with it so that we're not setting a trap for them and saying, boom, gotcha, bigot, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's comes to a resolution and it goes away. But that, that experience the, is going to inform our work. We're going to know firsthand the feelings that it erupts, the feelings that we're suppressing, the true honest response of what's happening out there. So it's something to consider. Um, well, rise and for the issue to come up. So you would be with that, right? So it could, you could be, I don't know, what can you be in relationship to that? Especially to her, what is your relationship? To be a friend of a friend. A friend? No, you could just be her husband. You can be the husband? Okay. Uh, and uh, so you play your role. So let's play as if uh, he's going to give you what you're asking, right? A new question. Let's assume that this may happen as a possibility. A new question, right? And, and more than convincing her, you will have to work for him. You have to convince him that. If you're fucking dark, I'll call you dark. If you're dark, if you're dark, what dude? What the need I've called you dark so many times, you don't take offense to it. If that's what he is, then he has to learn to accept what he is, no? Hey, I don't care what I'm saying. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a lot of people. I'm not going to be able to get a
visible to you by engaging him outside. Can you tell what happened? Oh, okay. Uh, so when we were doing the scene outside, there, were, there was a watchman, sort of a guy who was uh, standing outside smoking. And uh, when the conversation started heating up a little bit, it started looking like a feud. And uh, he came in and he started saying that, uh, boss, it's okay. He's a dark guy. He was a really dark guy. And uh, he, he, was, he was like, uh, it's not about the color. You have to be uh, good from your heart and, uh, you know, stuff like that. And uh, something that really, really uh, uh, worked for me is after the whole thing was done and we said, let's decide, we decided let's go back upstairs because uh, we were uh, creating some right. The, he went on and spoke to another person and said, uh, look at these guys fighting about it. It's not about uh, being dark. And so it really, and that guy who was listening was also a dark guy. So uh, uh, that, that really uh, gave us a kick and said, okay, so this is a, a good thing that we're doing. But you guys are right, we need to tone it down. Although we did people, tone it down actually. Yeah, we, did, we completely that, sobered when down. We, when it worked for us, we were actually arguing. We were like, no dark, fire is better, no dark is better. Then he came in and said, why sir, why are you talking like this? It wasn't this strong. Here it got a little out of hand, but when we toned it down outside, it worked like a breeze and then they used joint. And then we started asking him questions like, boss, you are correct. And then he actually answered. And he actually answered and interacted. So that, that really worked. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go back to the stage. Yeah. 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 a place where everybody can perform. We'll meet there, okay? So that we make sure that everybody is there. Uh, and then you will uh, disperse. You're gonna go, disperse. <laughs> you're gonna go. Hey, go you're gonna do your scene, you're gonna go and do your scene, you're gonna go and do your scenes. And you then at that point also you decide how many times you wanna do the scene. You can do it two, two, three times, uh, four times and test it and just play it and just go with the flow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Rick, myself, Murli, and Rutala, we would be going around, since we don't ever see to check on you or just to, to be around to check on you. So, once you have done, have had this experience several times, when you feel like you, and then we, we are going to reconvene Friday in this space and we talk. Also, and we don't catch up again after the we we don't have somewhere to go. Unless there's a place for coffee and they want to go. There is a great place for coffee. Hey, get someone? Yeah, have fun. Hey, um, did somebody leave your bag behind? Guys, who's back? Hey, what are Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you How did it go? Anyways, it's here, you know. Kiran, how do you think it went? And the Okamo Sulikna, that should be safe. Yeah, but we'll see it now. Yeah, okay, no good. Let's see how it went. 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 Let's see how it went dark, no, they don't say white, they don't say fair, they're being very you know, politically sounded, correct. It also sounded like they'll say anything to like sell their uh, this thing, yeah. you know? Because they kept on saying one, uh, the same thing again and again. Mm. But then it also felt like... <laughs> so it also felt like, you know, they wanted to sell it because there was nobody there. So maybe we are the first customers for the day or something like that. I don't think that's true. The bed was used. I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so in Fab India, Vicky was playing the darker role. So the, uh, she was like going on, you are on the darker sa side, you shouldn't wear red. There was this uncle who we involved, he was like, he is not dark. He looks good. He will pull off the red color. So you should just leave leave it the choice to him. And he was the only one who was staunch saying he's not dark at all. He, he's just perfect. So. What about the others? Did they drink? The, uh, the random customer. 
So he was the only customer there that we yeah. could engage with. The shopkeeper unfortunately got engaged with some of the others who were also part of this particular scene. So they were also talking to them. So they engaged them. But initially he was only saying in the lighter colors. Yeah. So he was testing that, but then this particular gentleman who was there uh, seemed quite firm on the fact that it doesn't matter, you have to wear what is good on you. But and she kept insisting that you're dark, you're dark, and he's a. But he kept dark. insisting, uh, let him choose what he likes. They, they do look at the color of your skin and how, you know, how things will look, you know, good. Maybe with clothes, but also with my treatment, they were like, especially with the second person, right? He, the moment he became comfortable, you know, the, the fact that where he can take an initiative, where he can, you know, be more than a uh, salesperson there, he was more, you know, that's when he, he brought out this angle where, how it really helped him among his group of social friends or his family, you know, how this had an impact, you know, so they were actually surprised to see him fairer coming back to Kerala from Chennai because they they all assumed that he would be dark and, you know, all that, but then no, wow, and then apparently that did change the way people saw him and everything, so. So guys, before we go, um, I want to remind you to... You, you all have my email address, right? Yeah. I have another group. Sorry, what? You're using email address? So, my email address. And it would be very useful if you send me an email where you narrate your experience. Not your thoughts, but what happened to you. How your experience went. So we can collect all the stories. Okay. And if you can do this by Monday, yeah. That would be great. Oh, oh, oh.